Hi, welcome to our lab. Today, we are going to have a little chat with Daniel Assad and Carlos Isamitsu. They are both undergraduate students at São Paulo State University in Brazil. So, guys, could you tell us what is this project about? We are developing education to be able to add, remove and uh, validate digital signatures in a XML based document without any other office switch application. Okay, and, and why did you start this project? Well, nowadays documents are no longer what they used to be. These documents now take place on several pieces, process and information exchange systems. And with that in mind, we saw the opportunity to build this utility card just mentioned. Uh, okay, Daniel, can you explain what is this project about using some scenario? Well, sure. Uh, imagine the following. You have this contract that must be signed by a board of executives. And this guys is spread all over the world. So, if you want this contract signed, you have to, uh, to send this contract to the first executive who will later sign the document, send to another executive, and so on. And this process can take weeks or even months. So we believe that this is not just acceptable, acceptable today and we can do that in a few hours with a digitally signed document over the internet and we make that possible with OpenXML and she's XPS. Um, you said OpenXML and XPS, but does this software support any other open standard document format? Well, as I mentioned, XPS and OpenXML are both under the Open Patent Convention. And this convention describes how to manage digital signatures under the W3C digital XML digital signature syntax. And on the other hand, ODF in its specification does not deal with digital signatures. So even if we, if we added some digital signatures to the document, this document wouldn't be fully compatible with the specification. Do you have more details about what can we do using this utility? Oh, sure. Well, why don't I just show you? Okay, that's all right. Well, the, the coolest thing about our project is that it registers itself as a shell extension. So we can, we can do things really fast. Just right click in here and we, we find its context menu and here we have the sign option. As soon as we click it, we we will have a prompt telling us that we are working with more than one document. I say OK, I want to proceed. And in here I can select one of my digital my digital certificates. So I select this one with my name and in a few seconds we will have our result. Okay, in here we have a status report telling us that we did it do a backup, but the document was successfully signed. And in here, in our main interface, we will see all documents selected and all of their signatures. Okay. And another feature of our, of our utility is that we can also remove the digital signatures. So we have another question here telling me I I selected more than one document, I say I want to proceed and again we have all signatures loaded in here and we can select document by document see their signatures and I can select all documents and see that all documents have my signature in common so if I click here in select and in remove selected signatures I will proceed and this task report tells us that again we chose not to be the documents but the, the signatures were successfully removed and therefore we will have all documents selected without signatures in common. And another feature, the last one, is that we can visualize the signatures in a single interface, again that prompts which tells us to, to move forward and we can select all documents, view the signature status, sign them again, selecting a digital signature. I'm going to use another certification now. A test report telling us everything went up okay. 
and the status of all our documents. I can come here, select this document, and remove all of its features. So that's pretty much it. That's a great tool. Uh, now let's talk something about its development. Was it hard to develop this? And what did you use to, to develop this utility? When the project started, we imagined that it can be complicated to handle a digital signature in XML-based documents. But uh, with the OpenXML specification and using the Microsoft Office OpenXML SDK with System.io Packaging API, all the process of adding, removing and validating the digital signatures have been easily implemented. Yeah, and we also found a bunch of documentation, technical articles, step-by-step -step guides on the MSDN forums, blogs and such. It was really quick and most important, very, very easy. And we were very careful with the user interface to make an easy and quick application to be used in day-to-day -day routines. Yeah. Okay. And uh, just another question. Brazil has defined its public key infrastructure. And how can this project deal, deal with, uh, with this public key infrastructure? Well, that's right. Uh, I have here in my hands a Brazilian certification digital certification ID and the coolest thing about it is that we can find an, an embedded digital certification here and with that all the information we need to create digital signatures here so our solution is, is fully compatible with not only the Brazilian public key infrastructure but many others around the globe. That's okay and just to finish this talking uh, where can we find this utility and is that open source? Yeah, it's fully open source and you can be found in this application in uh, codeplex.com slash ndos. Okay, codeplex.com slash ndos. Okay, thank you guys very much. Thank you a lot. That's it. Yeah. We are at the research lab of the computer department of the State University of São Paulo at Bauru, Brazil. This lab has, these days, more than 32 students from grad and undergrad programs that we have here. During the last 10 years, we are working with Microsoft technology and open source technology. We are not an open source center because we don't believe on GPL philosophy. We believe on IP, respect, and respect of the work of the students and the developers. We are working with, with standards since this discussion began in Brazil years ago. We have a lot of interop studies published at the Codeplex. In, in this case, the study about the ODF is only consequence of our interop studies that we are doing here. The results that you will see are showing us that we need that we need to continue this research because the impact of the adoption of these standards probably will not be good for the Brazil at this moment. But let's remember we are an interop development center and as much as Microsoft open their code as much more we will work with them because we believe that the future will be on the connections between systems.